Hey guys, welcome back to World of Mechanics. Today we got a Jeep that we're working on, guys. We did a full detail, interior detail, uh, and it looks it looks really good. It looks amazing. But uh, what actually happened? We got an airbag light on after we got done detailing, and you cannot just return it to the customer, you know, with the airbag light on. They'll be like, hey, what's wrong? You messed up the vehicle. So we need to see what it is. It could be low voltage. It could be something else. Maybe we got something wet. So, okay, we are going to use the uh, Maxi Seas now. Okay, the computer here that we have, pretty good stuff. But we have the one with the programming device. That thing, that thing works amazing, amazing. We love that thing. And we're going to diagnose now and see what we screwed up because we we did something i mean otherwise we will not have the the airbag light on okay so we need to unpack it make sure that we have power we need to turn it on okay let's see now and we're going to diagnose and see what we actually messed up on that thing we'll show you how look it, how good looking it is inside it's like brand new we shampoo the carpet so uh now we're going to go inside okay and we're going to connect the computer guys so what we need to do first we need to uh, get the key after that but uh, we need to find the the port okay the obd port which is somewhere here okay and the obd sensor okay it's like it's right here guys really hard to show you okay right there we'll find it and now we need to make sure we go the right angle too you need to have the key in after that and after we have the key in we need we need to turn it on okay i'm gonna start it just to show you how the airbag light stays on okay you'll go off and you'll come back on I mean, watch now so now we're going to turn it off and we need to have only the ignition on okay without anything else radio off uh, blowers off Okay, so uh, we're going to use the Maxi Seas guys and you know, so we're going to go ahead now and go to diagnostics here, okay, and we'll try to use the, uh, the auto detect beam which should recognize the vehicle, if it recognizes it, it's super easy, you don't have to go and pick, okay, this is, this is a Jeep USA, okay, let's see, let's see what we get now, it got the VIN number as you can see right there, and now we are going to click OK to confirm is the right number. Okay, the voltage is 12.2, which is pretty good. You can check the voltage there. It's a compass pattern. Okay, yes. Both of them are pretty much identical. We're going to go to diagnostics really quick, control unit, and after that we need to go to body. And after we go to body, what do we need to do? We need to find the air pack. Okay, right here. And we need to see if we can pull some codes. Okay, let's let's read the codes now. Okay, like that. And it says it's active headrest control for passengers. So we have a problem in the headrest control. Something happened there, guys. As if it says it's active, it means even if you clear it, it will come back. We were stupid enough, guys, that we were trying to pull the headrest out so we can. We can clean it better, but there is airbag wire inside of it. Okay guys, so what we need to do, we need to open the hood now and disconnect the battery. Okay, we need to disconnect it. We will be working on the airbag system. We have to fix it. We screwed up, we have to fix it now. Okay, and uh, those things, as much as we hate them, we need to locate the battery on that thing. Okay, it's, uh, it's right here underneath that, uh, that as you can see that's the intake right here so we need to twist those okay right here and lift up and pull it out that's the battery right there guys so most of them are with a 10 millimeter range we're going to we're going to disconnect it and let it stay for about 30 minutes before we proceed we need to fix it on time so the customer can pick it up that's one thing guys, you never, you never know what you do. If it's something simple, cleaning a vehicle, you can damage it now. They're very complicated and we were stupid enough to screw it up. So we'll see if we can fix it or we can open some parts. We'll see what the problem is. So if we pull the wire, maybe just simple fix. So we're going to lean the seat all the way to the 
with the forward as you can see on this one it folds now there is a couple clips on the back usually on those you can grab by hand and pull them out okay there is one on the side there there is a couple here one on the side should be and once we do that we should be able to have the back of the seat okay apart let's see let's see what it is there is still a clip there holding pretty good and sometimes you can damage those you just have to be careful this one will pull to the side okay and we still have something holding there but okay we'll just flip it like that for now yeah okay now we need to undo that thing there and uh, you do that by pushing pushing it uh, forward out of the groove and you need to twist it to open it okay just like that and we have the wires guys right here for the headrest and and we broke the wires as you can see we have no wires here so now we need to we need to go ahead and fix it we just pull them out as you can see right there so what we need to do now okay that plastic need to make a hole okay and that's the headrest okay and now we need to make sure that we we get the wires right okay we need to make sure everything will be good there if not we will need to order a new clip maybe okay so we can just go ahead and unplug this one now but now we don't know which wire goes with which okay so in order to do that we need to remove that electrical tape right there and we need to see if we still have the same color of wires and in our case we do not they're different so now that will be will be a complicated deal okay guys now so again we don't know which one is which so we're going to go ahead and take this one apart now okay just just like we did the other side so we can see which wire is which and how they connect with each other okay let's let's unplug this one and we need to get that thing loose again okay just be careful guys you you detail your vehicle nowadays don't don't pull don't put too much effort if something doesn't come out just just don't press it don't don't try to do anything stupid because that's what we did and we're totally screwed up now okay and we have okay you can see black with green and black with blue okay black with green is blue actually okay let's go again and black with blue is brown okay so we need to memorize that black with blue is brown because if you put them the wrong way you might deploy the thing okay so now what we need to do we need to push them in in the right way okay they go only only in a certain way that's one good thing about those clips okay and we are going to connect it after that and we will run the computer guys again and see if the, if the code is active if it's active we didn't do anything which means that we might even buy a new headrest because we screwed it up we'll see we'll check the resistance of the wires and everything else if we get to that point okay we have it connected now and now let's go outside connect the battery and see if we can clear the call okay guys let's see we connected the battery now let's see inside what happens before we can actually connect the computer okay we're going to turn the key on let's see if we if we have the airbag light okay it's on let's start it and the airbag light goes off guys so successful we didn't even have to reset it okay we're going to turn the key on uh, just to check with the computer what we have now okay let's see if we just get a code real quick just just to be safe so uh, okay we need to of course go back now and we need to select airbag again airbag right here it needs to connect to the system read codes let's see if we have anything here now okay it's a stored code okay you see it's not active so we don't have a problem anymore but it says that uh, it was in the system at one point so what we need to do go back we're going to erase the codes now is the ignition on engine off in our case yes pretty simple so far yes and we're going to delete it codes have been successfully erased if we go back now we actually need to go turn the ignition off now some vehicles are different the modules you have to circulate the ignition switch a couple of times okay now we turn it off let's see what's happening now okay turn it on again 
Okay, like that. That's what it asks for. And now we need to go back and read the codes. Okay, let's see if we have anything now. No fault codes detected. Okay, guys, so that's how we that's how we fixed it. That's how we fixed our mess. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe for one new video every day.